Okay, so first off, I just want to say thank you to Aaron over at Nomads Nation for getting me in contact with Orbit Key, specifically Kirk. Shout out Kirk, thank you for sending this to me, and hooking me up with Orbit Key to show you what they do and what products they have. Now, for those of you that don't know Orbit Key, they're an Australian-based brand that got their start on Kickstarter back in 2013. And since then, Orbit Key has been making organization-based products, which leads us to this, the Nest and the key organizer that we're gonna talk about today. The first thing we're gonna talk about is the key organizer because not only is this the easiest thing to talk about, but it's also kind of become one of the coolest things. Not only do they have them in a variety of colors and different collaborations, like this awesome Star Wars Millennium Falcon one that I got, like, Holy, I, I have the Millennium Falcon tattooed on my body and now it's on my keys. That's pretty cool. But this is premium. Unlike other key organizers that I've tried and used in the past, this feels really good in your hand. The leather strap is full grain cowhide leather, while it's 316L stainless steel is what actually keeps the keys in with these little screw knobs. On top of that, you also get a nice little clip up here at the top to clip in like your car key if you want. And then on top of that, on top of that, Orbit Key also sells like different hooks and clips and things that go with these key organizers to make it easier. So these key organizers can also hold anywhere from three to seven keys. And what's cool about that is the way they have designed it, you can loosen or tighten it to have as much give as you want as how the keys come out and fold out to unlock your door, your pantry, or your candy closet, which I assume everybody probably has in their house. Look, if we're being honest, there's not much really to say about a key organizer, except for the fact that it comes in a lot of different colors. It's made from premium quality material. I really like the feel of it. And if I'm being honest, this is so much easier to carry around. And I really like, I find myself just doing this a lot now, just like twirling my key around, which is fun and has its place in time. But again, I love this key organizer and the key organizer pairs really well in terms of desk organization and EDC organization with the nest there's literally so many things to talk about with the nest i'm not even sure where to start so we're just going to start on the outside this is something that you place on your desk unfold it the top becomes a wireless charging pad for your phone headphones or any other wireless charging devices and the inside you can organize and customize for all your essential items that you would need while working at your desk so with that, I'll go ahead and open it up so I can show you how I've been running this. But before we even get to opening it up, we got to talk about how cool opening it up even is. You get this nice, super nice strap with a nice little pull tab on it, and that hooks on. And then when you unhook it, then and only then does it open up to reveal its full glory. There is, again, so much. So we're just going to kind of move through this little by little, and apologies if this ends up being a little long. But here on the top part, you've got a lot of thin, very thin organization bits. Starting over here, you have an elastic bit, which is where I have put, I'm not gonna take it out, my air tag for this. I like to have air tags and items that are expensive or just have expensive items in them, like all my bags that I use, cars, keys, things like that. So having an air tag in here is <laughs> pretty nice. And then you just have some other lay flat, thin organization next to that for like thin notebooks, maybe some thin pieces of paper. You can see I've even put an SD card in here, which is what it fits. You can even put bigger SD cards next to it. So this is just very thin. I wouldn't go much thicker than like an SD card or even the Apple AirTag, which I've put in an area where there's a little bit more to kind of like space for it to be a little bit bulkier. But up here at the top, 100%, you want these to be thin and minimal items. But one of the coolest things about this is that if you're like, well, I don't really want this top thing to be on there all the time. Well, that's fine. Cause it actually, it just comes off. And this, <laughs> this is, this is a wireless charging pad now. And we're going to just, I'm going to, before we get into the divider part, I'm just going to talk about how this wireless charging pad works. So at the back here, there is a place to plug in a USB type C charger. You plug that into the wall and then the only this little like raised part on the lid, when you place an item, now I like to do it with my AirPods or my iPhone, 
it automatically starts wirelessly charging, which is great because at the end of the day, having a lot of items that wirelessly charge when I'm at my desk or I'm working from home, it can be kind of a pain in the ass to be like, okay, I'm gonna plug it in. I wanna look at my phone, but you know, putting it on and off a wireless charger, yes, can sometimes be tedious and yes, can sometimes make it charge slow, but having that ability to pull it up, look, do whatever I want and then put it down and know it's gonna charge rather than having to unplug so I can move over here and then come back and plug it in. Wireless charging is great. I don't know why I'm explaining it or why I'm trying to sell anybody on it. Wireless charging is fantastic. And the fact that this little lid to an organizer has that capability, I love it. I know it might, some of you might be like, oh, it's gimmicky. I don't think it is. But now let's get into the actual organization of it because the way that they've set this up and the way that, that it operates, I think is really clever. So you have little teeny tiny Velcro dividers in here. And those are what you use to put wherever you want to make the items that you want in here fit now for me starting over here i have the charging cable that actually works with the wireless charging pad that is the roof to this thing raise the roof roof cap lid top i don't know whatever word you want next to that is a backup just in case apple charger because some apple devices aren't wirelessly charging or if i need to charge two things at once or whatever Next to that up top is a big speed brick for that Apple charger because below that I like to have my Apple mouse with me. So because that's not wirelessly charging, if it dies, always like to have extra cables, you never know. Next to that is where my AirPods go. And then on the very final side is my SSD card with the little cable that hooks up to my computer. Now I'm not gonna lie, the first time I got this, the first night we watched a two hour movie because it's spooky time. Um, and that entire time I was like playing with this, trying to figure out how I wanted to organize it, trying to get everything exactly where I want it because this thing allows you to do that, which is why it's so freaking cool. These little teeny tiny Velcro dividers actually work super, super well. They're really easy to move around. They're really easy to get in position. Now I was able and kind of lucky to keep most of my stuff tight, except for this little cable that's just kind of like in here. And I like that because when you have the lid on and you're moving around, it's in your backpack, and you're pulling it in and out and it's like sideways, upside down, you want everything to stay in place. You would expect that with any other tech pouch. So why wouldn't this be any different? Well, it's not because everything stays in place. I have had zero issues with opening this and things just being everywhere. And I've used this quite a bit and not once opening this am I like, ah, oh, everything's out of place. It's always in place. And that's probably why I like it. A little OCD in my brain is like, hey, we like this. But there's one other thing Real quick that I forgot to mention that if you're like, oh, well, what about putting a pencil, like an Apple pencil, actually where this little strap that, that hooks it, there is a spot here to put a regular pin or an Apple pin if you want to. I've also seen some photos of people using this where they put the pin on the inside because it does stay in there pretty well. So it's really solid. Overall, look, Orbikey is great. And this desk organizer is one of my favorite things in the world. I literally didn't know how much I was going to love this, but I like it. It's... <laughs> It's almost like kind of weird how much I like it because it's been a while since a product like this. I just like, I like using it. Like I like when I go to work and I get to my, like, and I get to like the, the office or whatever. I'm like, yeah, because I, I just like, you know, I'm weird sometimes. I like to nerd out over things. But again, huge thanks to Orbikey because these two things are great. And there's a lot of other products on their website that I'm very curious to try because they look really cool and they all seem to work pretty seamlessly together. So if you're interested in Orbikey, I would highly recommend, I will link the website down below. I do not have an affiliate link or anything like that, but you should definitely check them out because they're fantastic. And I highly, highly recommend checking out this Nest. So with all of that being said, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about anything from Orbikey that we mentioned in this video today, let me know down below and I'll do my very best to answer those for you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and all that wonderful nonsense. Thank you guys again so very much for all the love and support you give this channel. It means the absolute world to me. And with all of that being said, I will see you next time.